Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different and that is the webtoon, very popular action webtoon Elixir. Now Elixir is a very very good webtoon and it's for a couple of reasons. First off, it does the superhero genre in a very very unique way. Now I think everyone has heard of you know the typical oh I have superpowers and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do something and I have these superpowers and there's superpower society. We've seen that in recent things like The Boys. We've seen that in anime like My Hero Academia. We've seen it in Marvel movies. We've seen it in DC movies. It's one of the oldest tropes in the world. Why why Alexi? Why is it good? Uh, the reason for that is the fact that it has these really really satisfying scenes and also it doesn't immediately lead to vegeta uh vegetala what the fuck am i right vegetala it doesn't okay you know batman right or or every single other superhero in like marvel and dc as soon as they get their superpowers they immediately go hey i'm gonna become a vigil vig vigilante because i'm gonna uh save people and for me, that I find some sometimes I just find that dumb because if I got that power, I wouldn't be running around and grabbing crooks. I'd be hiding it or like using it for my personal use rather than always being this unrealistic character that wants to save everyone all the time. Now I'm not saying that this the main character Jiwu in the Lexie doesn't have some of those characteristics. For me, what what makes it special is the fact that he doesn't immediately go, "I want to be a superhero" as soon as he realizes that he has a super a superpower, which is super speed. And the second reason is the way that the authors really build up the hype. There's there are these incredible scenes where Jiwu is very 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 injured, and then Kaiden comes to rescue him, or he's very very injured and Kaiden or Yujiyun gets really really mad, and those scenes are really really done well because there are these really good build ups to that arc, and it's built to satisfy us, and I think that's really really cool. Although I I love conflict and bad things happening to the main character as any other guy, it the way that Alexei does it is truly special. For example, there's this scene, there's this scene where this is a guy that um double crossed Jiwu, um in and kind of like you know got him tortured and broke his core, which is like something that affects his uh, superpower abilities, and Kaiden finds out that he's the one who betrayed them, and this is what happens. Spatial isolation? Super can you bastard. Come out this instant. Right? It's a cool ass scene. And the art is insane. It's just on another level. Look at that rendering. It looks so, 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 so good. And that's the same for a scene with Yuji Young and Am Young, who is this assassin that was involved in the same kidnapping and the same like torture and breaking of Ju, the main character's core, as I just told you guys. And that is badass on several different levels. Look at that. Whew. And done, right? So, right, this is another really great reason that shows why Webtoons and LX Seed is doing so well. Because in a lot of, uh, a lot of superhero mediums, a lot of popular Western superhero mediums like Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel, or let's say the Scarlet Witch, um, they sometimes tend to try to you know really advocate for that woman power woman empowerment which i'm all for that that makes sense but you don't have to make your characters extremely overpowered and bitchy for them to stand up for woman empowerment right um like like her like she's overpowered but she's like a, as powerful as she's pretty powerful she's one of the top ranking uh super powered people the awakened ones um from all of elixir however however she's not cocky She's not she's not stupid and she doesn't she doesn't feel bitchy and overbearing. She feels cool like like a male character would. So I find it dumb why we're creating female counterparts for existing male superheroes when we could just create cool female characters that make sense. And I've saw I've seen I've seen clips of She-Hulk although I will never ever ever watch that thing. They're doing the exact opposite of what they should be doing, which is actually create a female superhero that is cool right that that makes sense like like you doing here and it's and it's done so much better here and that's why alexi right now is doing very very well 
internationally as well, and that's why I would highly recommend this web webtoon, and that's why it is just so, so, so amazingly good. If you're Korean, you can absolutely read it on Naver. If you are um, an English-speaking person, you can read it on this website. Thank you. Goodbye.